Hi, I'm Kimberly Luyut and we are going to work with salaries. All living things possess catalysts or substances within them that speed up chemical reactions and processes. These catalysts are enzymes, which are protein molecules that enable all chemical reactions in living things to occur far more rapidly than they would. In plant tissue, hydrogen peroxide is a toxic substance which is continuously formed by the cell. And unless it is broken down, it will accumulate and kill the cell, thus the tissue. The catalase in the plant tissue takes the role of speeding up the breaking down of hydrogen peroxide into its harmless components which are the water and the oxygen. For this video experiment, we will be working with the catalase which is found in plant tissue. Using a celery, we will observe how the catalase works to speed up the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide into water and oxygen. For the actual experiment, the materials we need to prepare are the following. 4 clear glasses, 4 pieces of celery, hydrogen peroxide, hydrochloric acid, measuring spoon, sticks, and the pot with water. So we will start the procedure by placing each piece of celery in each glass. Put the fresh celery in the first glass. Then crush another piece of celery and place it into the second glass. Boil the third celery and place it into the third glass. For the last piece of celery, soak it in the hydrochloric acid for 5 minutes and place it into the fourth glass. Then fill each glass with 2 tablespoons of hydrogen peroxide. Observe what happens in each glass for 2 minutes. We have observed how the catalytic activity of the catalyst has been affected by the different factors. Be sure to properly clean the materials used and dispose the celery. In our experiment, the enzyme is the catalyst in celery and the substrate is the hydrogen peroxide. When the enzyme catalase comes in contact with the substrate, the hydrogen peroxide, it starts to break down into water and oxygen. Based on the observations, let's talk about what happened in each glass. In the first glass, we place a fresh celery and hydrogen peroxide. It was observed that the celery floats in the hydrogen peroxide and that there are small bubbles covering it. The small bubbles around the celery is the oxygen gas which is produced from the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide. In the second glass, we mix the crushed celery and the hydrogen peroxide. It was also observed that oxygen bubbles were being produced. However, there are a lot of bubbles formed in this glass as compared to the first one. This is because the catalyst concentration had increased when we crushed the celery. Therefore, more substrate molecules were accommodated by the catalyst, producing more oxygen bubbles. In the third glass, boiled celery was placed with hydrogen peroxide. The mixture did not produce any bubbles as the catalyst became denatured due to boiling. The heat degraded the catalyst enzyme 
making it incapable of processing the hydrogen peroxide to form oxygen bubbles. This is the same with the fourth blast, wherein it did not also produce any bubbles due to catalyst denaturation. The hydrochloric acid, which is a strong acid, lowers the optimum pH level of celery, making the catalyst to be denatured, thus losing its capability to break down the hydrogen peroxide to form oxygen bubbles. So that's it for today's experiment. Thank you for joining me to work with salaries and I hope you also have the chance to perform this experiment in your own homes. God bless and thank you!